guys welcome to the channel if you are new here or welcome back to the channel if you are a returning subscriber it's a girl live here with another video um i just want to touch base today to let you guys know why i haven't posted in a little while i was dealing with burnout burnout or being burnt out which is burnout is a total and complete exhaustion of your mental physical and emotional resources i will back up a little bit and explain the reason why i reached into this situation of being burnt out so in 2020 when i turned 30 years of age during the pandemic I had a, I don't know if, if to call it a midlife crisis because I don't think you could have a midlife crisis at the age of 30, but at the age of 30, I decided that, look, I was not happy with where I was in life. I thought I would have been further along. I, th I thought I would have had more things achieved. And I decided that I wanted to see more improvement in my life by the time I turned 35. So I sat down, I made a five-year plan, and then I executed it by putting it into task and putting a due by date and, and subtask and all these different kind of things. Since I made my vision board, I have been working tirelessly every day of my life towards achieving some stuff on my um, vision board. I broke it down into personal body goals so like i wanted to up update my physical phys physique or as they just say level up level up my looks or however they just call it so i made some changes with my diet my exercise my face care hair care routine these different kind of things because i want to you know i want to be 40 and looking to tea or 40 looking 25 so i made body goals then i made professional goals like certifications that i want to achieve by the time i'm 35 then i made business goals and i made like personal goals. i made all kind of goals and i just um sit down and i tell myself like look this is what i want to achieve so i said okay let me you know work on myself i started working the entirety of 2020, 2021, things went very smooth. I'd look at myself and I could see my growth. I get my driver's license. Um, I come and get my car. I fix my teeth. Uh, I organize a lot of things in my life. And then in 2022, when mommy left and it was me alone, well, things kind of started going downhill because... And now hard was to work every day to afford my rent and my food and everything because I didn't have the help that I used to have before when mommy was here because it's me alone now having to see about everything. So I decided that, look, I will, you know, still try to work on my education, seeing about the children, seeing about the house, seeing about everything. And I was going like a rolling stone like an energizer bunny but with all good things it will eventually come to an end so in january of 2023 i end up getting covid and i think one of the main reasons why i got covid is because i was so stressed out that it it made it easy for me to get the virus anyhow Moving on, after I lost my job in April of this year, May month, I was home, I was out of work and I was home for the whole month of May. That is when I kind of realized that, look, I just, I'm not feeling good. I was trying to fight it for the longest while, but I realized I was just not feeling good. I started procrastinating watching my task and not doing it when that is not usually me i am not a procrastinator 
if I have something to do, I try to get it done. If I said, look, I want it to be done by this date, I take a lot of pride in taking it off of my schedule and seeing it marked as complete. So I started procrastinating, pushing my task around, letting them become overdue, letting my life just fall to pieces. I had no motivation to do nothing. Sometimes it was so hard to even get up and bathe my skin or brush my teeth, you know, it was very hard. And I decided that I was just tired. I was just tired. So I started researching why I was feeling like that and then I realized I was burnt out. So one of the ways that I healed my burnt out was by resting allowing myself to rest so i didn't impose no schedule on myself as a matter of a fact i went through my planner and i removed all my dubai dates and i just gave myself the luxury of just resting just getting up every day bed brush my teeth and lay in the bed and do absolutely nothing and it come like I had to retrain myself to know that, okay, rest is productivity. Rest is not me being lazy. It is productive to just do nothing sometimes. So I rested. And then in the beginning of June, when I got back another job, I started um, trying to pick up back myself. So by pick up back myself, I mean like I try to get back on track with my stuff so in addition to going to work i started trying to work on some of my goals but i didn't go as hard as i would normally go on certain things i created what i would like to call a energy budget a energy budget i mean that if I came home from work and I was feeling tired, then I would allow myself to rest, take a little nap or something. And when I get up later down in the day or in the evening, according to how much strength I have, that is, where, that is what I would do. If I feel good, like really good, then I would work out. If I don't feel really good, then I wouldn't do like a vigorous workout. I might just go for a walk or I would just do some stretching, do some yoga and just call it a day. Just try not to beat up myself mentally and emotionally. And in terms of my goals, I also created an energy budget. I stopped trying to achieve my goals by powering through them and saying, okay, I need to do this and I need to do it by so and so day. Mm -mm. I started to do things based on how I feel. I started to be intuitive. So like for example, if I don't feel like filming a whole video and sitting down for hours and editing it, that is not what I'm doing. I just film my shorts, I edit it, I put it up. That is why I only ha have been getting only shorts for the past how long because I just was not feeling too right. And if, for example, for the day, I don't feel like, let me say, working on a task that is kind of time consuming, that would take like an hour or something like that, instead i just i find a task that would take me like 10 minutes if all i all the energy i have for the day is a 10 is 10 minutes and i just feel like working on my life and my goals for 10 minutes then i just find a 10 minutes task like for example one of the tasks that i wanted to achieve was to log on to my um my online nis account and change my password and I had that day, so a day when I get up and I'm feeling good, then I just went on, click, 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 change my password, and then I mark it as done so that I could still fulfill my desires to get ahead with my life and still also 
honor myself and still give myself a rest and a break. So our energy budget. And then I have also implemented better work rest balance in my life. You wouldn't get nowhere by just going like energizer bunny. In the Bible it says God created the earth, what the sun, the stars, whatever, everything he created and he saw that it was good and he rested. So I now have implemented the same thing in my life. Five days or six days for the week, I work towards my goal and then one day I just do nothing. I just allow myself to just get up, bed and exist. Just exist. Just lay down, watch a show, sleep, lie with my children, whatever. Whatever I feel to do for that day. I must just go through that day and don't think nothing about work. And just give myself a, a mental, emotional, physical break from life and from work. I've asked for help, so Kimani no longer stays with me during the week. He now stays with his dad and goes to school from his father. And then he comes home by me on a weekend. So instead of me killing myself to do all this drop off and pick up and stuff when it comes to school he is helping out more so i don't have to half kill myself to make sure everybody life running smooth so yeah guys oh and my garden still going good as a matter of fact i have um i planted out the okra the pumpkin and them kind of things i planted out in the backyard and you remember how small the okra tree was? Well, I have picked my things on my tree. One, and then it have all of these coming around here. So, just now I bust in some okra rice from the same tree. crew from outside in my yard be yourself nobody fear to you for yourself what's important how you see yourself they won't see it till you see yourself can't get money